Hello, everybody. This is Dr. Schneever Early, a craft doctor. And I'm, <clears throat> I came in right quick with a video. This is the card that I made earlier. And I said I wanted to decorate the front of it so that it could be ready for to be passed out and given away with the other ones that I have. And so that's what I want to do. But I remembered I did a video yesterday on the Dick Blick markers. So I have the Dick Blick markers, and I was like, well, why don't I color something to put on the front of this um, card base? And so that is what I did. I was using these. Um, I was trying to create something with to put a sentiment on it, and it didn't work out. So that's why I have all this little extra stuff. So I stamped this out in green. Let me bring you a little closer. Not closer. I stamped this out in green so it wouldn't be so stark on this uh, brown paper. And that is this from this die set, which they um, matte and layer on top of each other. That's what this one is from. There's a die in here that creates that, which is what this is. So that's what I did. That's how I did that. Um, I got that flower to color out, uh, or to color. And so I stamped it in this Harmony uh, Quick Dry ink so I could be able to color it and cut it out. And I wanted to use the Blick markers to do this with. And so that is what I did. So I want to first talk about the coloring. <clears throat> I use all of these colors. Come on, camera. There we go. I used all of these colors to color this. So how many is this? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen colors to color this one little piece. Um, the significance of that is because, um, you know, you go and you buy a 24 set of markers and it has one green, one blue, one yellow. So you don't get a chance to do any blending. And so, because I was, uh, asked about why do I have so many markers and why am I buying all of them? That kind of thing. And I'm like, because I need them. <laughs> When you're working with uh, products, you don't want to all of a sudden realize you don't have what you need to accomplish whatever it is that you're trying to do. And so the fact is, I would not have enough markers if I would have went with the 12 set or the 16 set or what have you, whatever. So that is the reason why mm, I purchased the... 92 set and I'm waiting now for the bigger set to I mean the other 47 in the um the other 47 to come in the Dick Blick range. Um I think it's really good to have as many colors because at the end of the day when you're trying to be creative limiting yourself is what you're going to end up doing. I'm trying to put some glue in this, filling up my syringe. Uh, and it never fills up. I don't know. I think it's because the other end is stuck. And so it doesn't go down in there. So I'm going to just put some. I'm just putting it on straight from there. And then I'm going to see. If it'll push down because you're supposed to be able to fill it up three-fourths of the way but I think because it's stuck it's not allowing it to push mm, yep it might not have allowed it to push uh, okay because I want this to be popped up I want it to be um, layered on this card and so that I'm trying to use my claw, 
color glue gel i get this from the uk that's there it is that's i knew it was the reason why it was plugged on the other side so it wouldn't have let it allow it to slide in there easily i have to remember that the next time i do it and so you know you put it in your syringe and you plunger and you put a little glob on it and then put a little glob on it like that so that your piece can stand up am i in the picture no see little globs like that and then i'm going to take this and i'm going to put it on here and let it just sit it's going to sit it seat itself on there and if you can see it's dimensional just like that it's a dimensional piece um and then <clears throat> okay so then with this glue what you have to do before you close this up you have to let a little bit hang out come out uh just a little bit sticking out see how that's a little bit sticking out and then close it i don't know why it does that do you have to do that but you have to in order for it to work and this is the if you haven't seen the three the 3d halal glue i get this from crafters companion from um the uk and the little stopper and all that kind of stuff the whole little set i just keep it in this bag because then it helps it to not dry out and um so that's how i do that and then I want to put this Make Today Amazing, and I put these little bitty stone-like things on here, and this is just going to tuck underneath there. And so this piece will be flat. I'm just going to put some tape on here so it can be flat up against the card. It won't have any dimension. And I'm just going to tuck it right underneath there come on I want you to be even right underneath there okay and then the jewels that I use is these here that I've had for quite a long time and they're dimensional adhesive on them but as you all know I always put my own little I put my own adhesive on them just to be on the safe side so they won't fall off and so I'm gonna put one there right there um, I was thinking about putting one in the middle of the uh, flower i think i'm not gonna do that too i think that'll be cute there you go right in the middle of the flower and then i'm going to go over here and grab my this is like wink of stella but it's made by uh spectrum noir it's like a glitter and you just shake it and put it on your designs and it brings up the glitter effect without you using glitter itself it's already glitter primed in this little thing and I have I get them out the little um, they come in kits they come alone and it's just a little bit, not well, nothing much. I don't want to push that down. But it, it just adds a little bit of zing to your um, card, whatever it is that you're making. And so um, I just, I really wanted to come back on and show you how the markers was doing. 
and to finish up this card because all of the cards that I've been making will be going to the church to use for thinking of you cards for our church. Love Life Family Christian Center and uh, our small groups will be starting and they will be making different kinds of cards and stuff. Um, so I really wanted to show you that. And so this is what it looks like. You can see the little sparkle there. You can see, there it is. You can see the little sparkle on each one of the um, flowers. Oh yeah, you can really see it right there. And one of the biggest things I wanted to talk to you about, these markers are really nice. I like how they feel in my hand. I like when I'm using them. Um, they are not too big, much bigger than the Copics that I'm using. But I want to show you something in particular about these markers. I'm trying to find a card, some some piece of card stock or something. Usually I have it overflowing everywhere. But you can't, because you probably won't see this if I don't do it. And it showed up prevalent, uh, prevalent in this green. When you store your markers, they ask you to store them like this, not like this. The reason for that is, let me bring you close as I can. If you look at this marker, come on camera. Come on. If you see it there, you can see it right there. Can you see it on this white paper? Let me see if you can see it better on this white paper. Come on, camera. Stop playing. Okay. There we go. So if you look at that, do you see that? how that is starting to look lighter? Right there right here there we go you see how that's starting to look lighter and this side is darker that's because i had them standing up like this i had all of my pins standing up in the container that i bought them in like this you know they they come like this in that big container that i showed you a couple of days ago and because of that, all of them are seeping downward. Yep, they're seeping downward, which really caused all of the ink to start flowing downward. They're, it's starting to seep downward into the pen. And I was using a couple of them, and that happened. And so uh, I wanted to remind you to not keep your pens like this. This is a cute case. But don't keep your pens like that. Keep them like this or you will find that the ink is not going to be even. The flow is not going to be even. So make sure that when you put them up, you put your pens up the way that they're supposed to be um, put up. I, I um, swatched them all yesterday, as you can see. And then I put them all in numerical order because that is how they uh, I swatched them out. And so all of my pens now are in numerical order, not by color families or anything like that, because I still swatch as I go. So I'm still swatching colors. So when I did this, I swatched the colors, even though I knew what I was looking for. I just needed to make sure that they matched or looked good together. So make sure that you don't forget to lay your markers on, the, on their side. Because if not, you're going to have that problem just like I did. And it's annoying when you get ready to use your markers and they are um, like that. So that's all I wanted to talk to you about and show you the card that it's finished. And I will be coming to you with another card. Um... I'm waiting for some deliveries, so hopefully the deliveries will be here soon. Uh, and so, thank you so much, and I will see you in the next one.